Hello guys, welcome back to Grounded. I'm eating mushrooms, so you know what that means. It's morning. Let's jump on down here. Don't even need to boil Make sure we get our water for today and go over and pick up our, my mushrooms. Yeah, doing a little base building. Um, and found out some things in between the episodes here. As I always do, it seems like. Uh, but yeah, with the update here, uh, found out a few things. Um, I did go ahead and buy a storage area for my weed stems because before I was just placing things on the ground. Well, yeah, since the update, you cannot... Well, I mean, you can do that, but it's after, is it two days or three days, anything on the ground despawns. So all the grass planks and weed stems I had, gone. So I went ahead and just built a weed stem holder for now. I really don't care about grass planks because, well, they're everywhere here. I also have found some crow feathers. Um, especially around the bird bath. I went up actually up there and I was gra grabbing some berries and I found the crow feather. So, uh, and while, while I was up there, it actually scared the crap out of me. But I was actually up there chopping a berry in the bird bath and I heard the bang, bang. I turned on the crow was actually right there. Shot it with an arrow. Yeah, that, it doesn't do anything at all, at all whatsoever. But yeah, you can find the crow feathers pretty much. I found one even on the ground over. If you remember, we saw him on top of one of the lasers over there. I found a crow feather on the ground. I found one also over by the stink bugs, which is, uh, let's see, that'd be over, let's see, Ant Hill, like in here, where we kill the stink bugs. I think it's like right over right where the center of the screen is, where we kill the stink bugs here. There's just a random feather on the ground there, so you can find it anywhere. So, yeah, there's that. Also, my uh, raw science is up to 7,600, so we're going to go see Burgle this morning. But also, the other quest I have, which is uh, the Chip Sleuth Cold Blood. Uh, I found it on the ground, but I did not pick it up because I wanted to do it with you guys. Um, I don't want to say it, it kind of came to me. I was thinking it might be over there, but it, I, it was actually a random thing. I was over by the paint, uh, the spilled paint. Yeah, I was over there killing a um, one of those beetles, uh, bombard beetles. What do they call them? Yeah, I think it's what they call them. And I happened to go past the paint, and I was like, oh, that looks like blood. Is that what they're trying to say? So, yeah, there, we're going to go right ahead and do that. Um, but I also want to go see Burgle and get one of the uh, upgrades for 7,000. Yeah, I'm building my foundation more so it hides this kind of a thing. But I'm having a hard time placing a block underneath that one. So I may have to figure something to do with that. Anyways, um, I am all set. But also I've made a spear. And the reason why I made a spear, let me go to my inventory and... Let me go ahead and put that where my torch is. Where's my spear? It should be... I'm right on it. Uh, that's why I'm looking everywhere but where my my cursor is. We're going to grab a spear. Because I kind of forgot about you can use a spear underwater. So we need to go see one of these little mites that are down here. Flea mites or whatever the heck they are. We'll find one here somewhere. And we'll give it a good poke here and there. Hopefully they don't mind too much. Um, hello? Hello, flea mites. Where? Oh, wait, did I just see one? No, I don't think so. Uh, better get some oxygen, though. All right. And back on down, hopefully. Uh, okay, so we had no problem finding them before. Did they all die? <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll find one here somewhere, I promise. Well, alright. It took me a while to actually find them, and it's so like they all are together here for some reason. Come on. Alright, killed one and got one. It's a water flea meat. Uh, I wonder if I can actually go ahead and, I don't want to say cook them up, but, uh, Jerky, jerky, jerky. Um, is it something I can inspect? Where is it? Where? Where's the meat? Oh, it's this thing right here. Uh, water flea meat. Okay, it doesn't say I can inspect it. A large chunk of water flea. Some t seems edible, but could probably be used for something else. Um, but I can't inspect it, so that's that's a thing. Not a problem. Uh, but we're finally on our way over. To where the spill paint is and get this chip and then i can go see burgle because it is one of the quests and i don't know if it'll unlock some things or not it should i would think 
I also need to make some more arrows. So if I happen to go past one of those plants, I got mite fuzz. But I need to go ahead and uh, make up some more arrows because now, yeah, we can't keep our arrows anymore. Kind of sucks, but um, yeah, we. You know, I, I think the community as a whole wanted the game to be harder. That's why they made the spiders harder. And yeah, like I said, you know, making arrows, we made arrows and have don't really need to make them that much more. But uh, now since we can't keep them, yeah, they took them away from us. Uh, so the paint is, this is the paint. So this is the, what looks like blood. And it's kind of hard to see. There it is. See it in the blood? That is hard to see, isn't it? Um, yeah. I mean, that's kind of... <laughs> Uh, I like it. Uh, I mean, I did a lot of thought that said cold blood, so I was thinking, you know, cold water. I thought maybe it was in the water or something, but I said, where, where's the blood coming come to play? All right, so I need to go over and see Burgle. The other quest I do have is, well, first of all, I need to return the ship. Uh, but I need to kill some gnats. Uh, that should be kind of easy to do, in a way. They're all over by the oak tree for the most part, so let's go over there and kill some gnats as well. Collect some of our raw science. And then uh, go spend some of our odd science, get some more stamina. Actually, while we're here at the analyzer, let's go see if I can... I, I know it says I can't. No, I can't click on it. Can't even click on it. All right, never mind. So before we go see Burgle and kill some gnats, I want to do a little bit of a test because we're going to do uh, where we get more stamina, hopefully. Um, how many hits can I get in a thistle plant with the amount of stamina I have with the tier 2 axe? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, basically. Uh, so eight hits before I ran out of stamina. That is fine. Uh, but hopefully, obviously, I wish there was like a meter bar on our stamina and health. So we can kind of, so I mean, if you look at it, you can say, okay, I got like 100 stamina. And when you get the upgrade, it's like, okay, now I got 120. Just so you have a frame of reference of what you have. Um, it also come in handy, like when you put on like different um, armor. Because some armor will give you more stamina, more health. I wish they would kind of tell you... Like, I have no idea how much health I actually have. It just... You know, we, we just see a bar. Alright, I need to go up here and kill some gnats, hopefully. And I just saw a wolf spider. Yeah, he was going... He's going that way. Well, I'm not finding any gnats to go ahead and murder, so I'm over here collecting some acorn shells because with finding the bird feathers the other day, I did analyze them. I am able to make the the bed, which would be under utilities. I know it says simple bed, but it looks like a lean-to over here. Um, but yeah, I need acorn shells, so I grabbed a couple. I do have five crow feathers, woven fiber, and weed stems. Weed stems I do have, but I'll try to get some on the way back. And of course, like I just said, uh, some fiber. I need to re repair my mint mallet. At some point, but let's go see Burgle. Uh, hand him over the chip and get some more quests for today. I think I only can get one because I completed the other one this morning. So, yep, I'm only gonna be able to get one. Can I get in there, dude? Thanks. And spend some raw science to see how many more hits I can get on a tree and all that fun stuff. Uh, I found a burgle chip. So what does that unlock? Be... Um, so the meat shield. Yeah, we knew about that. Eye patch, fiber bandage, canteen. Um, so it didn't unlock anything? Okay. Uh, a perk that teaches you how to work out your lungs to increase your max stamina. ka -ching. Purchased. Uh, I also get 100 raw signs for that. Oh, because I returned the chip. Uh, stained chipped unlocks. Uh, okay, so let me go back in. <laughs> Maybe I was too quick on it. Um, did it unlock anything? Meat shield. No, I can't scroll up and down. So it didn't. 
did it unlock anything in here? Um, it's not showing any anything that I learned. Howdy, it's good to see you again. Three bold Well, I don't know if I did that wrong or not, but uh, yeah, I couldn't find anything. Uh, make clover shin guards. All right, so we'll that should be easy enough. And oh, aphids. Oh, I just I just love hunting aphids. I'll accept it. Why not? Uh, shin guards. Yeah, it should be make too hard to make clover shin guards, right? Um, that's under workbench gear. Clover shin guards. Clover woven fiber sprig. I can get all that stuff right around our base. Oh, um, but uh, I do have more stamina. So let's go out in, into the world and see how many times I can swing on a plant before I run out of stamina. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Make sure there's no spider right outside the door. All right, we're back at the thistle plant. Thistle. <laughs> thistle? Yeah. Um, eight swings is what we got before, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Okay. I still only got eight swings out of it. Was it... Oh, okay. So it's a mutation that we bought. All right. Um, all right. I'm not worried about the ants. Uh, unequip the ant one. And equip that one. All right. So it's a mutation that we unlocked. All right. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, phew, that that that's a lot to just get one more hit on a plant. Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, it is what it is, and I've already spent my seven thousand <laughs> raw science on it. All right. I'm gonna head back home. Uh, yeah, I want to build that simple bed to see what it looks like. I've already got the blueprint kind of down. So let's go back and build that. And also, yeah, last episode we got the ant eggs. I want to build one of those tripwires. Um, so I got to build bombs apparently. But I'm going to build the tripwire first. Because it does say bombs not included. But let's build a, a tripwire first. And then, uh, if I need to, we'll build a bomb. Uh, maybe go see some orb weavers. Uh, I think that's what we'll do in the berry patch area. Put some trip wires down and see how those work out. Um, hopefully these bombs are pretty powerful because getting ant eggs is... I don't want to say tedious or hard to get, but I mean, you got to kill a lot of ants and then you got to get down there before the ant eggs hatch. Because that's what we saw where the ant eggs were somewhat hatched. But I did get four ant eggs. Anywho. Already back to base here. Um, what I need to do, can I craft... Because my inventory is full. Yeah, I went, let me sort of my inventory and then we'll build a bed and some trip wires and stuff. All right, let's go ahead and grab some weed stems. Just need about four of them. So that leaves me four weed stems left. Yeah, I should have, I forgot to grab some weed stems on the way back to base. I do that often. Anyways, come on up here. Everything we need to make the bed. Perfect. Yeah, so crow feathers, um, I don't think I showed you my inventory yet. That's what they look like. So when you find the crow feathers on the ground, you are going to need an axe to uh, hit the crow feathers to get a crow feather. So for every crow feather you find, you actually get a crow feather. Seems kind of, uh, actually it's a crow feather piece, sorry. Um, I should also mention, at least for me, when I was chopping up the crow feathers, they don't automatically go in the inventory. You have to chop them, and then you have to go ahead and grab the... Uh, bag on the floor but there's our wonderful little bed let's go ahead and set that as our respawn point perfect now I'm going to come over here and we're going to recycle this nothing wrong with the lean to but come on we're, we got a nice house here it's about time we got a nice bed right uh, did I get everything I think so place it right there yeah this is gonna be our, our bedroom our lookout area what have you I do want to expand our I guess we can call it our deck out here um, because I do want to put the tables and chairs out here eventually. Let me go ahead and grab some of these uh, jerky stuff. And... Oh, so I cannot... The water flea meat, you cannot... You cannot uh, hang for jerky. My guess is that's going to spoil. I have no idea what to do with it. Um, I will put it into here. 
Uh, where did it go? Put that in the hair for now. Um, if it spoils, then I'm going to keep on uh, the spoiled stuff. Is this clear? Oh, those are hot dogs. All right, so I need to make our quest from Burgle. Um, it is... Wait, work, workbench gear? What do... What, 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 what? Oh, marksman cap. That's right, the crow feather. So, yeah, when I analyze the crow feather, you get to make a, a marksman cap, which gives you bow attack. Um, yeah, so it's crow feathers, berry leather, and spider web. Uh, workbench tools, that's going to be arrows. I don't know why it's uh, showing me now, but where are those arrows? Feather arrows. Uh, crow feather and spider web. A fancy arrow crafted from sleek crow feather bits and stra strands of uh, spider web. I don't know... Is that any different than just a regular... I mean, you got your regular arrow. But it doesn't really say what the that arrow does. Does it just... I have no idea. I wish it showed like how much damage the arrow did compared to other arrows. That'd be kind of neat. Um, but I was actually coming in here to find out uh, the clover... I forgot what I need to build. Uh, clover shin guards. Clover shin guards. Uh, so I need three clover leaf and two woven fiber. Uh, we'll just grab the whole stack. Um, and grab all those. So I can come in here, craft, material woven fiber, just go ahead and make them all. And clover shim guard, shin guards. 100 raw science. I'm starting to, as I craft a certain armor that I don't use, I just stick it right back in here. Let's see, those are leggings, so that'd be... So these are my sets up and down. That's what I'm doing. I'll slowly go ahead and make them. Um, what I need to do, though, is I need to make some more just regular arrows. Uh, work bet note tools. Just regular arrows. Yep, go ahead and make these. And then any arrows I got left, let's go ahead and just pop them into here. Um, so that gives me 40 arrows altogether. All right, once again, I need to sort my inventory. Uh, wait until morning. We'll make a, uh, some bombs and some trip wires with some ant eggs and all that fun stuff. Morning is here, and I was just about going over to grab some water. I heard a big thud, and I was like, what the heck is that? It scared the crap out of me. I didn't know what it was. Then I realized, oh, wait a minute, is our friend back? Yeah, our friend's back over here. Um, like I said, I've walked right up to him, uh, shot an arrow right in his butt, and uh, did nothing to it. And he didn't fly off or anything like that. Well, since I'm here, I might as well go ahead and eat. But uh, I had to go back to the other base last night. The original base, yes. Um, it's kind of funny. Now I don't mind walking out in the middle of the night now. It doesn't seem to bother me. Uh, once you get used to what animals are animals. Yeah, insects do what. And uh, as long as you avoid them overall, you're fine. Looks like uh, he's fine over there. But yeah, I had to go back over there because I needed some of the fungus. Um, yeah, what's that stuff called? I also need some ant parts. I had no ant parts here whatsoever. Uh, fungal growth, that's what I needed. Uh, yeah, dry grass chunks. I got gathered some of that stuff as well. But let's go ahead and grab some of these things that we need. And build a trip wire at least. Um, ant eggs are in here. Yep, there we go. Ant eggs. So let's come in here. Um, no, I don't have the spider webs. So let's come in here. Workbench tools. Uh, yep. Um, I should be able to make one. Yeah, I know my inventory is full. This. Wait, did it go on the ground? Did it just disappear? No. Oh no, it's over there. All right, I got. I got to empty up my inventory with something here. Um, what can I take out? Oh, I got an aphid. Well, let me go hang. Killed an aphid. Oh yeah, so I killed the aphid and I got my arrow back. So I'm not sure that that was a standard arrow. So I don't know if it's the poison arrows that we don't get back or what's the deal with that. I have no idea. Can I grab that through the wall? I cannot. Um, oops, saw it there. There we go. Is this something I can inspect? No, it is not. But now my inventory is... No, it should go right in there. It should go in there. It should, right? Uh, craft. Craft. 
craft. Alright, so I should free up my inventory a little bit. Now I need some spider webs. Uh, we'll just grab 10 because I don't know how much I actually need. Uh, go to traps, go to tripwire. I'm just going to build... Wait, I can build two. Wait, what? Oh, I got to place it. Oh. All right, we'll come over here. Yeah, we'll go over and visit the crow in a minute. I, well, he's probably gone by the time we get over there, but we'll see if he's got any crow feathers laying around. I'm pretty sure he will. So this is something you can't craft them place. You got to, oh, this is going to kind of, kind of put a damper on what I was trying to do. Just trying to make sure there's orb weavers around here. Yeah, I need to go up into that hamster wheel and, uh, hamster wheel, hamster area. I think that's what we can call it. And do some investigation someday. Are there any, oh, there's an orb weaver right there. All right, so it doesn't come with bombs, so how do I... How do I place a bomb on it? Does anyone know that? Oh, I got to actually hit E. That's... Uh, did it take two or did it take one? Where's my bombs? It takes two. All right. Um, I don't know what happens if I go through it, but uh, let's get the attention of this orb weaver. I don't know if it did anything to the orb weaver whatsoever. All right, so you may have to go back in the video to see, did that do anything to this orb weaver? Because it seemed like he had a lot of help left over. Um, I still have two bombs left, which is fine, because... You remember when we went down underground and all those larvae were under that, down there? Yeah, I want to try that out, right? Um, boy, my inventory is full. Swing back to base here, drop off some of these spider webs. And, uh, yeah, we'll take care of it. Maybe after I take care of this orb weaver, because he's kind of on my way. So before we go over and check out the larva and throw some bombs at them, I decided to come over here because I kind of forgot. I promised I'd come over here and look for some, uh, like a crow feather. So, the, so, I mean, he does sit up here somewhere, and um, I checked on the ground first. Didn't see nothing. Uh, I came up here because I know some people said they found it in the bird bath. Uh, a couple people on the Discord channel said they found it uh, just sitting up here in the leaves. And like some people did say, though, it's not every time that they're going to drop feathers when they sit somewhere. So don't always expect every time they go to a certain location, you go there every day and just going to have a feather. There might be one around here. I'm just not seeing it. It could be on the ground. But like I said, I already checked it on the ground. Didn't see one. Uh, but we do get a nice view up here of our base, don't we? Not a bad view. Makes me kind of nervous. But since the crow doesn't attack us at all, I'm not too worried about it. Anyways, yeah, I'm not seeing a crow feather anywhere kind of disappointing but uh, we'll find one eventually that I can show you if you haven't seen one already what the heck am I looking at right there oh no that's the log it looks like a, a feather and I thought maybe it wasn't rendered in but it's actually the water and it's uh, the tree stump make it look like a, it is it is the shape of a feather uh, but yeah I don't see a crow's feather anywhere all right uh, now I'm gonna go back to base empty out some of my inventory and we'll go check out those larvae and throw some bombs at them. See how much damage these bombs actually do. Uh, the tripwire for just taking out spiders as we saw. It may have taken like a third of his health, but not that much. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give them a try just on their own and uh, have some fun with the larvae. Alright, so here's a stink bug. What I want to try is... Am I going to get my arrows back? Yeah, see, it's throwing my arrows today. So I don't know if it's just a poison arrows I may not get back. So regular arrows. Oh, 
I'll take a couple of hits. Yep, my arrows are back today, so that's kind of interesting. I don't know because I, uh, when the update came, I just loaded in the game. Maybe if I loaded the game, saved, exit, and restarted, maybe I would have got all my arrows back. I may have to make some poison arrows just to find out um, if that's the case. Uh, do I need to kill some more ants to get some more ant eggs later on? But uh, those aroma scented uh, flowers, or whatever they call them. Um, what do they call them again? Um, oh yeah, I changed the. Um, I came in here to my uh, my OS, my operating system. I changed my day mode on my scab to supreme color because I kind of like the purple. Um, it's too bad you can't see like when uh, I want to see what the night colors are. So if I want to change my night color, I cannot see what it looks like until it's nighttime. So either way, let's head over here. Hopefully I can find this area. I should be able to find it. So he says. Um, there's the spade. There might be... Yep, there's that beetle. I don't want to... don't feel like getting into a battle with him right now. Alright, we want to come in here. Oh, my torch is... Um, yeah, I don't have a torch. I mean, I got a torch, but it's almost out. Sprig sap, woven fiber, dry grass. Uh, slime mold, plant fiber. Ow! I can't see what's attacking me. And it's the beetle. Alright, I'm not ready for that. Now that I have a torch... Let's head on in here and see what these bombs do. Actually, while I'm in here, I need to gather some of this stuff. Uh, nope, wrong button. Because so I went ahead and fixed my mallet a while ago, if I didn't mention that. And I think it's cheaper than it used to be. Stop kicking things around, Pete. You need that kind of stuff. Alright, uh, which way am I going? This way. Those rubs are so flippin' loud, man. Alright, so what I want to do is grab a bomb. I'd like to get all of their attention. I mean, I would like to jump in there and just grab them, kite them all to here. Alright, uh, how about all of you? Actually, there's not that many of them in here. Alright, R to throw. Um, that did decent damage. Well, that did pretty good, actually. On <laughs> those. That's not bad. Kind of cool. But ant eggs. Need ant eggs to do so. Uh, grab some quartzite. Explosive. Inventory is full. Uh, that's fine. Um, what we're... I was like, what the... I thought it was like running on the wall. I think it's actually fungus. Um, this does go out the other way, but I don't want to go out that way because um, when I was got, getting attacked by that beetle um, and I had no torch down here, I kind of went the wrong way and I found something kind of interesting. You may already know about it, but we're going to come on down here. Uh, hopefully I don't die going down here because I don't know if there's a place to get water, but now since I have a torch, I might be able to see. There's like a secret lab underwater here. What's this? A scab. Gun metal. Um, is there a way to get oxygen? No, there isn't. No, there is not. But I found a place to get oxygen back out here. Uh, so yeah, there is a scab in there. Uh, but no place to get oxygen. I think when the pond update comes out, whenever that might be, I think we might be able to build something that we can uh, go underwater with. And I don't want to say breathe easier, but maybe it lasts longer. I'll take a chance to go back down here. If I lose my backpack down here, not that big of a deal. Can I get oxygen anywhere? No, I cannot. But I can see. Have a quick look. Nope, that's a chair. That was just reflecting. It 
And there we go. Actually, I think it's almost night time. Yeah, it is almost night time. Which means it's time for me to get the heck out of here. So those bombs actually work pretty good on, on the larva. But as we know, the, the larva is not that challenging to take care of. I don't know where this beetle is. He's around here somewhere. I'm not in the mood to fight him. I just want to go home and get into bed. Our lovely, lovely little bed. Actually, I don't really need the torch anymore. It's not that bad out here. Ah, home sweet home. Not a bad day. We tried out the tripwires. Um, we found the new burgle chip, which really kind of unlocks, I guess, nothing at this point. But um, we also went ahead and spent money on getting more stamina, which is actually a, a mutation. So obviously the other mutation, which is more health, is going to be over here as well. Um, this one right here, um, your cells adapt to a more efficient. So right now I got a uh, respiration process. I should get more stamina that way or use less stamina maybe. And we also got this one here that um, enhances energy capacity. So I should have a lot of stamina, which um, this one right here. I think this may make me um, run through the yard quicker. That's what it probably does. But we got many more to unlock. Uh, this one here is for ants, but uh, I no sense of activating that one until we go ahead and take care of ants. And, of course, we also today made a lovely, lovely little bed. That little tiny Pete's going to take some tiny rest. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watch as always. I'll catch you next time right here and grounded. But until then, mm. have a good Bedtime. one.